Here's a quick question. What's the largest desert in the world? The Sahara Desert? No. The answer is surprising. It's at the South Pole, and it's Antarctica. Antarctica is a place of extremes. It's the coldest, driest, and windiest place on Earth. But although ice covers over 99% of the land, there's only one to two centimeters of snowfall every month. And that makes it a desert. Because you don't need sand for a desert. A desert gets very little rain. In spite of the extreme conditions, some land animals have learned to survive, such as the Antarctic penguins. You won't find many humans though, but international scientists come here to study the wildlife and the ice. I've never been so cold in all my life. Okay, okay, I'm not really in the Antarctic. I'm actually in Cambridge, inside the headquarters of the British Antarctic Survey. This is an environmental research centre which has three bases in Antarctica. Tamsin is one of the scientists working here. To find out what happened in the past, you can drill down through the ice. I call the, the, the drill a time machine because you are collecting snow that fell millions of years ago. And when that snow falls, it traps bubbles of gas. So you can see in this thousands of year old snow, little tiny bubbles, um, and those bubbles are capturing the atmosphere, the air as it was when that snow fell. So we can find out things like how much carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases there used to be in the atmosphere and compare that to how much we've got now. Some people think it, life in Antarctica could be a bit boring because you can't you know, go out to the cinema or anything like that. But you can go skiing, you can go climbing, and I like snowboarding personally, that's my favorite. There's, there's really plenty to do. I'm now in the cold room and it really is cold in here. The ice in these tubes was taken from Antarctica and some of it is thousands of years old. This ice can show scientists how the climate has changed. If global warming causes this ice to melt, it will affect all of our lives. So let's hope Antarctica stays as cold and as beautiful forever.